When, in the course of human events, it becomes necessary for one people to dissolve the political band which have connected them with another. A decent respect to the opinions of mankind requires that they should declare the causes which impel them to the separation. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain inalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. That to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men, deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed. That whenever any form of government becomes destructive of these ends, it is the right of the people to alter or to abolish it. And when a long train of abuses and usurpations pursuing invariably the same object evinces a design to reduce the people under absolute despotism, it is their right, it is their duty, to throw off such government and to provide new guards for their future security. From the Declaration of Independence, Congress, July 4, 1776.
Uh, what you've just seen is a reenactment of a successful interdiction operation that took place six years ago. Interdiction and protective reaction. Those will be your areas of duty. This unit, which you're also hot to become members of, came about because of the events that occurred in the early 60s. It is the only effective means of combating political assassination by the interception and the destruction of the assassin himself. Now, you men have been carefully selected for this program because of a high-level performance in the battlefield and your high-level performance in physical endurance. But as your training progresses, you will gradually reach a point of acceptance where you will begin to surpass everything that you have ever done before. You will reach goals that you never dreamed possible. And to accomplish this, you will be given vitamins to increase your stamina, chemical injections to expand your mental capabilities, injections to assist you in both physical and mental control. You will be programmed to respond instantaneously to any given stimulus. You will become a reflex, but highly directed unit of force. You will be taught how to use everyday objects as weapons, everything from a toenail clipping to a briefcase. Control. Control will be emphasized throughout your training. Control. Control is the key When you're finished here, you will be assigned to safeguard specific individuals and institutions. And because of your training here, you will be set apart from other security agencies and military establishments. In other words, you will operate independently. I am your commanding officer. You will refer to me only as Mr. Trevor, as your second in command. You will address him only as Mr. Lassiter. Stand! What's your project? Kill! Again! Kill! What's your priority? What? Dossiers on the new men. Just leave them on the desk. One of them had a couple of tours in Nam. Looks like a top prospect for a VIP bodyguard. <sighs> Say, reaction to the film was excellent, didn't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I wonder what the new men would feel if they saw what the star of that film looks like today. John, the original concept of the project is all. I've had the project for six years, Frank. I've had enough. Have you had your injections today, John? Want some water? Nope. What about the injections? No, I had no injections today. What you're thinking is dangerous. What are you talking about? The drugs or the project? Both. Withdrawal has got to be gradual. You need to be deprogrammed. If you're not deprogrammed, you'll be a minister society to yourself, and you know that. Deprogramming takes months. Nobody gets out of here. Not you. Especially not you. I've been training robots here for six years. For defensive purposes, that's what I've been told, that's what I tell them. Now, two weeks ago, now, three teams of graduate trainees sent on missions abroad. You know, I've sensed this for, for two years now, and I think it's true. We're being used for offensive missions. It's necessary, John. Oh, don't give, me that. Don't give me that crap. 
Wasn't born yesterday, didn't get here in a mule, neither did you. We're being trained as hitmen. We can be used as political, corporate, and commercial weapons. And you know damn well that's exactly what's happening. So what the hell are you going to do about it? What can I do? I know what I can do. I can hold a press conference, blow the whistle in this Pandora's box, and put the whole damn thing down the toilet where it belongs. You can't do that, and you won't do that. Frank, I'm going out. Lasseter, 712. Yeah. Get me a medical survey team over here. As soon as possible, yes. Yeah. Ah. I'm sorry, Frank. Mr. Trevor, please step out of the car. Nothing wrong? I'll have to see your identification. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. Tell us. I'm the uh, U.S. Consul Liaison Officer. Is there any cover story for the press on this situation? No, it's not going to be. Well, we'll have to tell them something. Well, that's fine, but you need to do the telling. You see, Mr. Trevor's a very dangerous man. Uh, I think it's best we keep it from the local press. Well, I have my job to do, too, Mr. Lasseter, and I intend to do it. Mr. Lasseter? I'm Inspector Cruz. Yours, please. This is my associate, uh, Inspector Ortiz. Please follow us. Inspector, we thought he might be here in Manila. He mentioned a few people known by name, so we suggest you begin by screening the American community discreetly, of course. You've spent some time in Hong Kong. You must know there are others interested. A private plane just arrived at the Manila International, carrying several indecidable passengers by an indirect route through Sampuanga del Norte on Mindanao from Hong Kong. You know them? Mm hmm. A man called Alok Lee, an international trader. In what? Anything of value? Of course. They are under observation. But, uh, but what? We were ordered to stand off. Mr. Lasseter, would you know why? How should I know? I see. Cruz. Ortiz, when you get back, talk to Cruz. Maybe you can get Miss Walker back to her desk at the embassy. The big one is Lassiter.
Why so quiet? I thought you were an accomplished conversationist. They told me about the man you killed in the garage. It was an accident, Miss Walker, just an accident. That accident was on foreign soil. It may not concern you, but I'm the one that has to make the explanations. Well, you're the picture of efficiency. It shouldn't be too difficult for you. Hey, look, as long as we're stuck with one another, let's, let's try to get along, OK? The man you're after is a man like you, isn't he? He's not like me. He's a lot better at his job than I am. something about the uh, garage? I just want you to know that we don't hold any grants. I do. <laughs> Good job. See you, boys. Hey, wait a minute. Don't cry, sir. You and your uh, lady friend. Have a drink with us. OK, Papa. Let's go to the hospital. Okay. Accidents. <laughs> <laughs> 
Lasseter here. I have a coded message for you. Can you take it? Yeah. Security one code. Mm -hmm. Ready. Six one eight windfall six three open. Go ahead. O forty three. Your location. Copy. Okay. Proceed immediately on this. I have it, sir. Is this the only contact here? Yes. Mm -hmm. Act fast. Or he'll you kill what? the whole program. No, I know that, sir. He's dangerous. Yeah, I know he's dangerous. Yeah. Find him. Get it. Right away, sir. should never go. You son of a bitch. One of these years, when you manage to drag your ass to Manila without any advanced planning, I'm going to put another hole in it for you, whether I know who you are or not. I had to see an old friend, Carl. You all right, Hook? Never mind about that, you two. Let's have a drink. Hook, break open the good booze, will you? 
As for you, you SOP, you got about two minutes before the bourbon hits the glass. And I want a complete rundown of your activities for the last four years. Sailors once hook. All kinds of weather. You think I need that? Well, I figured we got three hundred thousand dollars in the kitty, right? I'm gonna take half. You keep half. When's the last time you took him to the dock? Two what weeks? When you wrote to me, you said that there was a chance that the deterioration could be arrested. They still feel that way? All right, when I get to wherever I, to wherever I'm going, I'll refill the kitty. You tell them I won't be back for a while, so some kind of military insurance or change in the law or something you can handle that. Wish I could buy back his legs. Or give him a day on the bridge of a destroyer. I know where my bunk is. And the harpies of the shore shall pluck the eagle of the sea. Time for coffee? Didn't mean to upset you. <laughs> you don't sleep very late, do you? Time enough for that when I'm old and infirm. I poured one for you. You know you're about as sneaky as an elephant. Thank you. I'll remember that the next time I'm in a tight spot. You better remember it before then if you want to get your butt out of that tight spot. I'm going to take the old car. Head out to the countryside. Just avoid crowds. I checked this morning. Things are going around. I need a boat, Carl. Give me a couple of days, then call that number. His name's Catullus. When's the last time you saw me? Maryland in 1907. If anybody comes by, I wasn't here. Friends? Who's got friends, Carl? <laughs> Are you all right? What? 
Are you all right? I saw you from over there. No, I'm fine. I'm just fine, thank you. What's your name? Uh, where, where do you come from? My name's Lee Sue. From the lodge. Uh, Lee Sue. Stay with me. All right. Walk with me? And yours? What's your name? Ryder. Uh, Bill Ryder. Mr. Ryder. You staying here at the lodge? Uh-huh. Have you been here long? A few days. I just came in myself. I'm glad you're here. I hope that uh, we'll see each other again. I hope so, too. mothership, did they? How many? I don't want any shooting. And it's not the law. <laughs> Have a drink, Mr. Hook. Prepare to do battle. Go around back. we we'll take the front. <laughs> Somebody watch the front.
Open up the door, Mr. Wagner. We know you're in there. We don't intend to hurt you. If you cooperate, there will be no trouble. You have nothing to be afraid of, Mr. Wagner. Open up the door. you a formidable bit of resistance. But now that this is all over, I want you to tell me where your friend Trevor is. You go to hell. Mr. Wagner, I do not want you to endure more pain. Trevor has something I am interested in and for which I have a customer. <laughs> you cannot win out, Mr. When I get out of here, I will get what I want from you. Foolish, Mr. Wagner. Foolish and <laughs> I see your ID, please. Okay, Cruz, how'd you find out Routine about Routine investigation. The dossier on Trevor was most interesting. 
It revealed the naval history. We cross-checked it with a list of Americans who live here in Manila, and we came up with one man who served with him, Carl Wagner, a winner of the Navy Cross for gallantry in action. Gallantry, so after. You know what the word means? Who can afford gallantry these days, Cruz? You may be right, of course. It is an old word. But not everyone has forgotten it. Where is he? Outside. Oh, my God. What are you going to do about this? About Alloc and his associates from Hong Kong? At the moment, nothing. How do you find out about Wagner? How did you find out about Wagner? Operator, I've been trying for a half an hour. Wagner. Wagner, W-A-G-N-E-R. That's right, that's a number. Disconnected when? All right, fine, thank you. Something wrong? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to wake you. No, there's nothing wrong. Just trying to contact an old friend, but it's okay. Don't you sleep? Old habits, hard to break. You've seen much trouble, haven't you, Mr. Ryder? A little. You have no monopoly on that. On what? Trouble. I know that, too, but I'm a little concerned about my own, though. Yes, because you know them best. You want much in life. I mean, of life. Not much. All I know is I don't want what I've had anymore. And I don't know what's up front. I'm not used to that. Like a, like a kid, weak inside. I, and if I cashed out tomorrow, not a single person would ever know I existed. And really, I'd just be another dead soldier. And I think that what I want is someone who really cares that I've been alive. You know, someone I can trust. And someone who would trust me. A woman. It's love you want. Same as I. Oh, who the hell knows <clears throat> what they want or who the hell knows anything? I'm but one. And you want many things. Well, you see how foolish I am. No. Dreaming is not foolish. I will dream with you. And if you also want, I will love you.
Mr. Cruz asked me to join you this morning. Now, first things first. A letter from your agency. Priority one, Mr. Lester. Excuse me. Pardon me, Chief Inspector Cruz. Yes? You have a telephone call on our private phone. Urgent, please. Thank you. Excuse me. Have you been in counselor service long, Miss Walker? Four years. Dedicated? Well, of course. This is a secret priority one message I've read and I understand it. What should I do with it? What would you do with it? Well, shred it and burn it. I can't do that here. I don't understand what you're getting at. Well, if you were really dedicated, you'd grab it and eat it. Then you wouldn't use a public toilet for two weeks. We just got some information on your friend. What? One moment. Mr. Cruz? Go ahead. We have just confirmed the report that Mr. Trevor was seen this morning, accompanied by a Chinese woman along the vicinity of Taal Lake Lodge. There is also a report from the highway patrol that this same vehicle was involved in a uh, high-speed racing along the lake highway. Where is he? There is no further report, sir, except that the vehicle was not apprehended and has not been sighted since. Well, how far is this lake tall? Just a short trip by rail. Why don't we get up there, like, right away? Everything has been arranged for, Mr. Lassiter. You have 45 minutes, sir. Give me a few minutes, I'll throw a few things in my bag and I'll be right down. So you got 45 minutes. If you had taken proper security measures to begin with, that phone conversation never would have happened. Time is getting short. Yeah. I'm aware of the time element. Nine days is all I know. we can expect. What? Nine well, he's already gone ten days. He's beyond normal yeah. restraints. But, sir, I have another hot tip for you. Somebody took my medication. And your last injection? About 30 hours. I assume it was in your attache case. Did they steal that, too? Yeah. You get Trevor. Well, what happens if I don't get to him in time? What happens if he goes completely off the deep end? If you are still capable of handling the operation quietly with no publicity, we can alleviate the... Personally, sir, I don't give a damn about the publicity. What about the man? I mean, what do I do? What do I do? This is a priority one situation with serious international implications. You may have no choice. Bring him back or eliminate him. Yeah. I just wanted to hear you say it, sir. Miss Walker, who authorized this trip? Anyway? I told you before, I can take care of myself. I authorize my own trips, and I go where I feel I have to go. And let me give you a bit of advice, mister. Pull any more of your superiority gimmicks, and this is one Radcliffe girl who can have you deported as an undesirable in nothing flat. Oh, really? That's right. And I mean it. All right. By all means, be my guest, Miss Walker. I'd like to remind you, gentlemen, we have no way of finding out how many, if any, of the Hong Kong faction are still in the Taal vicinity. So this trip is primarily one of uh, investigation. Sergeant, please see to our seats. Yes, sir. Master, you ready? I'm not really, Cruz. I uh, can't get used to the heat out here. Something you'll have to bear. Let's go. It's not serious. No major 
major organs damaged. He'll be back with us in a couple of weeks. Dr. Antonis, the you call extension. Four, reacted very four, quickly. One. Could have been worse. Okay, okay. So I'm, uh, I'm a terrific person. What about Trevor? Well, since the attempt was made before we left the depot, I assume that Alan is still in Manila. Which leads me to conclude that Trevor is also here. He'll be located. Dr. Hey, wait a minute. Please call extension 441. What if your assumption is wrong? What if he doesn't have the time? And what if he bumps the car in the meantime? There are only so many people on Luzon who could or would help him off the island. And we know all of them. We'll find them. And Alok doesn't know those people, too. Look, we're not dealing with a moron. Alok knows his business. He's a pro. Listen, you'd be of greater help to us if you were to cooperate fully and stop withholding information intentionally. Oh, gee. Come on, we, we, we're back to that one, huh? We never left that, Mr. Lasseter. Look, if I were to accept your government's excuse for wanting Trevor, I'd have to ask many more questions. I don't think that's necessary. If Paolo wanted those plates, he'd have bought them. But if what he wants is the man, then that's quite a different thing. What's different? Hmm? Mr. Lasso, let me tell you, the difference is that if you want to play the killing game, you can go do it somewhere else, not in my country. I think you forget. I am here by accident. Not choice or design. That's precisely that my point. Look, the stupidity, the stupidity with which this operation has been handled has done nothing but complicate the situation from the start. I agree, because I'm not directing it. I know. But while you're in the Philippines, I am. And Mr. Lasseter, you will cooperate, or you can get the hell out. to tell us everything about this. Do you hear me? Everything. Not... Do you understand? No. No, I... come in and talk about it. Yes, that's exactly what I had in mind. They work for a lot. My secretary, they killed the poor man. He, he couldn't tell them what he didn't know. And you? They mentioned Wagner and the man named Trevor. You? What about Wagner? He's dead. What? He's dead.
You have any liquor here? Yes. And pour two drinks. And pour them where I can see you. I need a boat. I know. Tonight. Out of the question, impossible. It would take at least a week. I'll give you $50,000. Two days. 75,000, three days. Best I can do. All right. It's a deal. There's 50. And I'll call you tomorrow. There'll be two of us. Two? In that case, the price will be $75,000. Well, Mr. Wagner and I have done much business over the years. Profitable business, I might add. Yeah, I know all about it. Here's to fools and sailors. Miss Walker, if you don't stop following me, I'm going to call the police. I'm working with the police. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I'm sorry. You've been drinking. Man, I wish I could. Hey, could I offer you work? We can't make machines all the time, you know. I don't drink on duty. Won't rest your gears. No, thank you. Miss Walker. For someone who's done so much for the country, you deserve a little enjoyment. Well, there is one little bit of enjoyment I will allow myself. Okay. Before I left for the train today, I received a message from my director asking me to call off this thing. You arranged that, didn't you? No, I didn't. But it's cool. Because you don't belong here, and I don't want you here. Oh, man's work, is that it? Golly, you guessed it. Oh, it was all right a few seconds ago when you wanted a few creature comforts. You guessed it again. Give it to me. Get some water. 
It is. Uh, I I have it all arranged this afternoon at the old wharf near the dry dock and bring the rest of the money. Very well. I'll be waiting for you. Excellent, excellent. Very well done. Now may I have? <laughs> Interesting analysis. The attache case we found in Mr. Lassiter's room was quite interesting. Malleable, manipulative, mind drugs. And yet in Mr. Lassiter's attache case. Tell me, old friend, did Trevor appear ill when you saw him? No. Did his hand shake? I don't know. His eyes, how did his eyes look? I don't know. I don't know. You are not very observant, old friend. I was so certain you would have much to tell me. I told you I would pay you for your services, didn't I? No. Wait. I, I helped you. I did as you asked. We burned some incense for dear friend. No. No. You promised me. We had a deal. No, no, please! Ah. Yes, you're being paid. But have no fear. I leave you in very experienced hands. It will be a beautiful thing. He is an artist. <coughs> Morning, Miss Walker. Headache, Mr. Lassiter. Monday. who lives here specializes in procurements of all kinds. Either he or Trevor left two bodies here yesterday. And... Uh, will you?
I didn't throw one killing punch. Well, it's a good thing you didn't, because he knows a lot. We'll make him talk. He'll talk. I promise you, you can finish him off. He doesn't. Well, Cruz, I hope that dude was telling the truth. How far is it to this wharf? Just a few minutes. Our surface units should be closing in now, quietly. No sirens. I'm against this. You know, if we go rushing in there like a squad of Marines, Trevor might... Tight break. Thank you, Mr. Lassiter. It's unfortunate your superiors didn't give you another option. I know what you're going to do. You're going to try to take him along, aren't you? The only thing I can do. But what if he doesn't listen to you? What if he resists? Stay here in the car. Now it's going to be all right. But don't you move until I get back there. Mr. Ryan? Cut off! And 
we have the girl! Who are you? That doesn't matter, does it? You have something I want, and I have something you want. All right. What do you want? Come out without your weapon, and I'll come out without mine. We can settle this with no further trouble. Come, Mr. Trevor. Is here. Come closer. I do not want to shout. This is what you get. Now what? Very well. Project Kill is what I want. I want to know everything about it. I will trade you the girl's life. That and a considerable sum of money. In any currency you name. Where's my boat? Your contact had an accident. You can have this boat. Who are you? Just a businessman. Let the girl go now. I cannot do that, Mr. Trevor. I have invested a large sum in you. If I want to do one more, to get what I want, I will. You've been following me for some time now, haven't you? Do not use the word following. Investigate is a better word.
John, you gotta come back with me. I'm not going back, Frank. I'll have to take you. I'm going around you. If you think you can take me, go ahead and try. Otherwise, step aside.
Your briefcase, Mr. Lassiter. 